we're gonna get rich and then we're gonna get a dog. She's gonna have someone to talk to. And yes, I do mean the dog is who she will have to talk to. Um, it's a rough life, you know, um, no pun intended there, but it is what it is. Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Jessica, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be diving into some of the Black Widow challenge and um, I'm not really sure what to expect with this part. I want to like keep moving right along. I want to get them married um, and just kind of like keep the ball rolling, you know, um, but target number two, Beth Sterling, she saw like the whole thing happen. Um, now granted, like Stevie wasn't technically responsible for Johnny's death uh, but it you know it, it looks a bit fishy if you will you know there's just a shark pond in her front yard and you know she had just got caught cheating um, you know all these kind of like red flags so I don't really know how either of them are gonna be I know that currently Stevie is gonna be really sad and upset she's not necessarily gonna be in the flirty mood um, but we'll see I would like to do some fishing try to get a cow plant berry and also just kind of try to come up with a way to make money in the meantime I know that like according to the rules you're not supposed to have a job or really do anything to like make money yourself so that's why I kind of want to like get her married ASAP um, but I think that things like scavenging um, is kind of like the bare minimum way to make money I'm not gonna like have her paint or write or have any sort of hobby that makes her money but scavenging I think is kind of fair game um, and of course the fishing like we're gonna sell the fish but I will stop yammering on um, my Amber, my, my daughter, she is sleeping right now, um, daytime nap at like kind of a normal time. It's 2.03 in the afternoon and uh, yeah, that's that's like a normal time for a nap instead of waiting until like 4.30 or 5 if like normally if she does, that's when. You know, I don't, she's just her own person. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and excited to just kind of get rolling with the next part of this challenge. Uh, let's do it, guys. Okay, guys, um, we will take a better look at this in free camera, but I wanted to actually start out in the free or the, the free, the build real quick. Um, I didn't have to record this, but I just kind of thought, let's, you know, whatever. Um, oh, really? Is it over? Oh, it's 118. Okay. All right. I really thought that it was going to be way less than that. Oh, it's because of all the roofing tiles that I did to have. Okay. Because otherwise it totally is a tiny home. I hate that. Tiles shouldn't count. Tiles should not count because this this whole tiled section up here, if I like got rid of that, essentially it would work. Um, but even then here, this is, you know, they're counting as rooms. And so I don't know. I don't think that I can get it down where it needs to be. Which, that's very disappointing. Okay, now we have like no money. So I'm not going to do what I thought I was going to do. So really that whole like... <laughs> That whole bit was just uh, pointless there, um, but it's not even a big deal. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna straight up just go right in to looking at the little house here. I did upload a speed build actually today um, for like this little place here, um, but I just wanted to freshen up the lot. We're gonna spend some time on this lot um, probably until like partner number five or so, um, and then we'll switch it up and we'll move somewhere else. <clears throat> pardon me lost my voice for two seconds there um but yeah after probably partner number like four or five we can move somewhere else um but essentially I just wanted it to be very like we wanted her to be kind of unassuming and just humble innocent if you will so you know she's just hanging out with her shark pond nothing big I guess we can let everyone actually start moving around I'll press play here um and they're still just standing there. Okay, that's not weird. Um, but we do have the area for crops here as you walk up. There's like the little 
eating area you can kind of just like walk around and you know do whatever i left it open on this side so that it was easier to kind of see sight lines and all that stuff so i just thought it was cute <clears throat> oh someone's turned the stereo on immediately <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Okay, well, anyways, um, that is the little living room area here. I think that it's real cute. Real cute. Um, yes, there's pet stuff here. I want to get a dog. Um, probably in this part, but also we're kind of broke, so I'm not sure what exactly to think. Oh, okay, so she's up here sleeping already, which is, you know, good for her. She is tired. Um, but then we've got, like, the little bedroom area right here, basically. And there's a little closet and uh, bathroom area in here. So it's pretty small. And that's why I just wish that the stupid tiles, like, at least on something like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I get it, but I'm not accessing the roof up here. It was just a, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Am I alone there? <laughs> that's kind of just how I feel. It shouldn't count. Anyways, though, um, so hopefully she, career, that's definitely not it. Okay, so we need to have some more first kisses, though, um, for the next thing on the aspiration, but that will obviously just kind of naturally occur. Okay, look how dope her whole house looks. It looks real dope. It's a whole vibe. Um, it's like real cute and just like, I'm just a little lady just trying to do my thing. And then it, like, what's that though? Like, and then you're, you get closer and it's not koi, it, it's shark. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, but she is feeling very sad. And honestly, you know, that kind of shows that she is at least like a, a person. She's not all feeling desensitized to it. And I don't know that she ever will. She probably will always be upset about this. I don't really think that it'll ever go away. I don't, I guess we could see here. Oh, not her symbology. I'm sorry. Need. Okay. Well, she's not really that tired. I kind of want her to like, maybe just come cry it out a little bit and then get some more sleep. Is the side of the bed here I just want to assign that to her. I mean, I know it doesn't really matter because she's by herself, but, um, you know, I don't think I gave her a vacuum at all. And she's got very little money to even be worried about that. So I think we're going to kind of just not worry about it. Don't have the money to worry about it. Honestly, just don't have the money for it. Um, but then we can tell her to come look for some frogs. Okay, there's the sun. It's a new day, Stevie. It's a new day. But we've got some stuff to dig. I've got her trying to get the frog. We're just going to really hit, like, everything. All of the stuff. Give me all the stuff. Harvest uh, these bad boys. Elliot, heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer you my condolences. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I'm really sorry you didn't get a chance to meet him. Um, I just kind of wanted to leave you out of it for like a while until maybe like there's grandkids involved, you know, something like that. I just don't, I don't want you to be worried about it. Oh, she actually really needs to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let her take care of that. Apparently, I failed um, as her sim mother in trying to, you know, monitor her needs. Okay, right now I have her coming out here to actually harvest her own chrysanthemums. Her very own. And then I think, yeah, it was pretty early on in the digging game that she decided that she needed a break. So we're gonna go ahead and cue her back up to do a bunch of digging. Cause I found some goodies and I want her, <laughs> I want her to dig it all up. Come on, girl. Was it over here? No, it was over here. Okay. 
All right, keep digging, keep digging, keep digging. There's a frog thing and another thing to dig down here. We're gonna get rich and then we're gonna get a dog. She's gonna have someone to talk to. And yes, I do mean the dog is who she will have to talk to. Um, it's a rough life, you know, um, no pun intended there, but it is what it is. Like if you have to be best friends with the dog, then that's just what's gonna have to happen. I don't know what to tell you, Miss Stevie. Um, I don't really want to have her go fishing over here. I kind of wanted to try and go on a date with Bess if we could. A wild sage bush. I don't really think that I want to grow sage. We already have crappy chrysanthemums, uh, but can harvest them, I guess. I don't know, can sell them, you know? Uh, and then she's real hungry, so we'll probably try and see if we can't, I can't really remember, are there leftovers? Yeah, there's something in here, so just, oh, it's salad. Okay, I am kind of feeling for our girl though. You know, it's, it's a hard life. Ooh. It's a hard life. But we've got fish to sell. That's quite nice. I don't really feel, yeah, at least the chrysanthemums are worth a little bit of money. I mean, they're not covered though. And I kind of didn't want them to be covered because I that's extra, like, it's kind of a hack, you know? Um, tomatoes. Yeah, why not? Apparently, we have tomatoes. I genuinely did not know that. Um, so we'll sell the rest of those. We'll probably just get rid of the sage. I don't care about that. We'll get rid of that guy. We'll get rid of these guys. Um, I guess she can extract the fossils. What is she, she's over here trying to cry uh, by his tombstone right now. Okay, come here and plant. Ooh, is that the romance festival? Ooh. Ooh. If we could get married at the romance festival, that would make me very happy. It is! <sighs> okay. We're gonna plant a couple of lemon trees. They're not, I think they're spring, so I don't think they're even in season right now. It's fine though, don't even need them in season. Um, I think we're gonna sell all this stuff. Like I know that that's rare and it's worth some money. It is what it is, we got lucky, we got some good stuff. So we're almost up to um, watch Medelio. Uh, there's a thousand Smolians right there. Um, so we can get rid of one of these and then we can breed them. I hear that the t-shirt festivals are out of this world. No, I, I kind of want to just take you to the romance festival. Oh, no, no. Elliot, you cannot join Target. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Girl is going through it. Like, I get it, but also you just kind of need to get over it. Um, okay, so we're going to sell all these guys. Um, we're going to sell the chef. I, I typically like to honestly keep the chef, but I'm not going to right now. Um, okay, I think that's everything I'm going to sell out of her inventory. I think let's go ahead and step on the little, uh, little guy there don't even just kill him off the dust bunny and then I don't think she can actually repair that because I had to place it with move objects so I don't think she can reach it um, but I do kind of want to just maybe since it's already almost like 830 for her I think that just adopting oh she doesn't have a computer Can we adopt a pet, hire a service? I don't, mm. <coughs> ooh, we can adopt a dog. Okay, 
Loma is a puppy, Men Pen, Menacha Pencha. Uh, she is spayed. And then we have a Scottish Terrier. I definitely want a puppy. We don't want an Akita though, or a Great Dane. Portuguese water dog, that's gonna be a big dog. I don't like to make pets in this game. I like to adopt them because it feels authentic. It feels a like, I mean, if these pets are made, where are they? Where are they in the world? Are they just like running around until they're adopted? So we're gonna get Loma or Muffin, the little Scotty. This one looks, it's a Lhasa Apso. It looks too much like a Corgi. Lhasa Apsos, I don't think, are supposed to look like Corgis. Um, but I'd like to meet those two and then I think we can kind of decide maybe from there how the mood is, how are we liking them. Um, go ahead and step on... I hope that they don't have trouble getting out of the little carrier. Oh, there's one of them. Are, are they both out? I don't know, this is Muffin. So let's give a friendly introduction. I wanna actually try and get to know their traits just a little bit. Why is Caleb Vitor here? I wonder, can we, can we kill him? Can he be a target? I kinda want her to say hi. I honestly like Loma, I think, a little bit better. Can we introduce ourselves? Friendly, give a cheerful introduction to Caleb. Uh oh. Oh, nope, okay. That was a good, good introduction. All right, um, wait. Not a good introduction? Uh oh, that was not a good introduction. Okay, well, get to know. Talk to, off a of friendship, get to know. Okay, stop talking to Caleb. No, 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 stop talking to Caleb. <laughs> Look, Caleb, if you're into us, we can totally, we can go down that road. But um, it's just, it's, please don't hiss on my front porch. Um, okay, Harry. Okay, and then go and give a treat to the little Loma one. I feel like if we just say hi a little bit more. Jumpy. Okay, can we get to know like maybe the last trait here? And then offer friendship. We're trying to give her like a little treat so that, you know. Oh my gosh, I just love them both. Like her mom got two cats actually. We have two pets in my not so very house though. I don't want to have too many in too many houses, um, keep it kind of chill somewhere, you know? So what do we know about, okay, so Hunter, Harry, and Jumpy. Okay. Okay, guys, my husband called me. Smart. Maybe that's why she doesn't like me. She's like, I know what you did. I know what you did. Aggressive? Smart, aggressive. What is the final trait? I kind of think that's funny. I just don't really know. An independent. Smart, aggressive, and independent. Or hairy, hunter, and jumpy. Yeah, I don't, I kind of am digging this little one because I feel like we don't need a jumpy dog because we're gonna have a lot of new people around. You're gonna have to be fine with like getting to know people. And I, I just, yeah, I don't know. Something about like the uh, the dominant behavior. Um, I don't really think that I wanna change her name. So I think we're just gonna leave it. Y'all know me, I don't really change names very often. Um, and then can we like end the adoption event? Yeah, just out of here with all that. Okay, so because we have a ladder and 
we can't have the puppy coming upstairs with us. We've got the dog bed back here and we do have like the little ball here as well. I know it's kind of hard to see, I'm sorry guys. Um, but that way like we do have a little bit of space for um, Loma down here to kind of do her thing. And I hope she's comfortable, but that's what we're gonna do. And then I think we can just maybe try to cry in the closet a little bit and then we're gonna get some sleep, maybe. <laughs> How are her needs, I guess? I should check that. <sighs> yeah, no, no, no. She can get to the bathroom after she cries it out and then she can uh, get some sleep. And yeah, I think in the morning we'll probably try and do a little bit of fishing with Bess, work on their relationship just a bit more. And then we'll probably just get married in the next part because um, I don't know, like we missed the romance festival, but she's been really upset what's going on it's not usually like this so she's feeling really upset about the house being dirty while she has company um i think that i need to just try and get her the vacuum that i was thinking of getting her all right where's little loma at barking at the tv okay well i hope you guys are happy we've got a little min pin i think that she probably deserves a little outfit or two um and I, I just think she's cute we needed a friend and i like that she's independent and aggressive um and smart it's very interesting um i don't really know how she's gonna do with our lifestyle i'm hoping that she will do better than i think that jumpy Jumpy, I don't think would have been a good trait for our lifestyle. So I don't know. I just, I hope that it works out. Um, but yeah, first thing in the morning, we're going to get her a vacuum. Oh, it's fall. Okay. Well, the sun is coming out. Um, I really just kind of want for her to like cry it out, cry it out. Maybe like talk yourself up a little bit. What do we need to replace? What's broken? What was that that was saying replace? Did, did y'all see that? Why did it say replace? Oh, it's this, it's the mirror. I thought it looked weird, it's burnt. It's literally a burnt mirror. Y'all, I did my tour in the speed build with a burnt mirror. <laughs> Okay, well, at least she's kind of crying it out a little bit. I'm really, five hours. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, just just cry it out a little bit, girl. It's okay, it's okay. Um, she's supposed to give herself a pep talk as well, so that should help a little bit too. I'm really just hoping that she can get her day started without feeling all upset. We need to water everything. And then we need to sell everything. And then we need to get breakfast going. The youth of fest or the youth of festival. The festival of youth is in town. Uh, the flea market's in town. Elliot's asking if we want to go to the flea market. Nah, sorry, Dad. Okay. Um. Really though. Vacuum. Okay. I think we'll just grab her. I hope that there's like enough room for her to vacuum. That should be fine though. Just put it right there. That's a, a green one. It's like as if it's important. Yeah, we'll give her that one. I'm fine with that. And uh, I think that's everything that we really need. She can get back to eating. There we go. It's like, hello game. Okay, oh, vacuum fullness? Is that what I just saw? Vacuum fullness, interesting. I haven't played with vacuums apparently enough to notice that. Um, okay, well we need to vacuum. No, dad, look, I'm busy, I'm just busy. That's all I've got for you. Okay, she didn't vacuum downstairs, but she did come up here to vacuum. Um, I don't really know if maybe the dog was in the way. 
Um, but we'll go ahead and just have her take her shower and then we'll maybe try and vacuum again. I don't know. I don't know. It's just already one o'clock and I want uh, to be done with all this. <laughs> okay, she is now squeaky clean, feeling fresh. There's that klepto trait coming back. I ain't... Okay, vacuum here. I don't, maybe we can just step on him. Will he go away if we vacuum in this room? I don't really think he will. Yeah, no, she has to actually stomp on him. Okay. Okay, I think now really all that there is left, oh, not calendar, uh, to do is to maybe just try, Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and get out of the house with Beth Sterling. Um, we're going to go just do a little bit of fishing with her, I think. Um, unless we can like immediately elope at the park, we might try and do something like that. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's possible. Okay guys, I don't really know if I should abort or not oh it's doing something okay well it's taking a really long time this save file this save file never crashes and i didn't there we go i didn't build up that lot like super a whole bunch or anything so i'm just you know <laughs> just hoping no, I'm getting my hair everywhere. Um, but yeah, I was like getting a little nervous there for a second. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here. We're back at the infamous. Oh, and she's feeling flirty. Okay, we're going to whip it out immediately. We're going to ask her about her day. Um, brighten her day. Ooh, our dad is walking by. Look, you just please keep walking, okay? Um, and then take a photo with Miss Beth Sterling, please. Thank you. Um, and then we're pretty much just going to get straight to trying to propose to her, I think. I don't know. I'm a bit torn on the whole matter, um, but we do need a pick with her. There we go. That's cute. Kind of cuts off some of Stevie's chin, but that's fine. Take a couple with no, f oh, that's kind of bright. Oh no. Okay, well we got some pictures now finally with Bess to commemorate the whole moment. Plus we just became real good friends with her, which is wonderful. We want to make sure that, you know, we are besties just for like this next phase in our relationship moving forward i feel like it'd be really good for us you know <laughs> okay wait 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 don't go anywhere um so we're rather good friends let's compliment our outfit i'm gonna queue up some stuff i just want for them to like feel very close you know very close <laughs> like best best friends have a deep combo with her feel very connected can we ask her to join our household let's ask her to move in let's see if we can make that happen really quick i feel like if we can have her move in then surely she would you know like Pro, like the proposing would go good right if we're they're moving in together just like that okay well here's the thing we're gonna leave jewels and i don't really know if they're supposed to be a relationship or not i i can't figure it out um i think that we'll take like maybe 10 grand right now um we're not gonna like take all of his money you know um, but we'll take a little bit of his money. And then I can't decide if Jules is going to be target number three or not. He kind of seems like a good guy. And maybe I'm just freeing him from the trap that is best. Because she is, you know, obviously 
maybe not the best for him, um, but maybe go ahead and try to embrace her. Um, try and go ahead and blow a kiss at her. I mean, the embrace went well, so you know, I don't think we're gonna have any problems, let's be honest here. Um, go ahead and kiss her hands. And then can we, can we, Go ahead and just propose to her. I'm not trying to like completely move too fast here, but I kind of want to, to move kind of fast. You know, just like a little bit, just like a little bit fast. All right, yes, please. Oh, thank goodness she said yes. Okay, so I, you know, I always get a little bit nervous whenever you're doing like a big things with Sims. There's always a chance it could go wrong. Um, okay, wow. Well, now we live together. Um, ooh, yes, we kissing, we kissing. Okay, well, they're doing it all on their own now. And I think what we're gonna do just immediately is have, oh gosh, not here, not here, here, here all the way back here okay i'm gonna teleport her back here because let's be honest it's just a lot um i guess maybe go ahead and just go fishing and then oh Bess, what she doing <laughs> she's cooking okay well that's fine um i mean you're gonna come home with us and you i guess do need to have some skills technically speaking it would be good for you to have some skills um, this is a blackberry bush, yeah. I really wish that, um, you know, it would ever grow. It never does. But. Okay, well, I am pretty stoked on the fact that we were able to just go ahead and get engaged, do all of that kind of stuff. I'm not sure how exactly I feel about um like just having them do a like a gunshot wedding here at the park or anything like that i kind of want them to do some sort of fancy little wedding wedding Ooh, wedding what tang is that a cow plan berry what'd she just get oh my gosh looks like we have some gnomes <gasps> she did she just caught a cow plant berry I can't talk. All right, I guess she can go ahead and just level up that skill because, you know, she's right there about to level it up. There it is, there it is. What do we have here? Joy Bond. Okay, come and grab a serving of that. Stop all that nonsense. What's our girl doing over here? She, uh, she's got all the food. Did she eat any of the food? Is she hungry? What, what's going on with you, Bess, you know? Okay, no, she's not hungry. We got hamburgers and we also have veggie burgers. She made some of each in case, you know, she's maybe more thoughtful than I wanted to give her credit for. Um, that was that was pretty thoughtful, I'll give it to her. Um, but what we're gonna do now is just like, we're gonna get out of here. That was, okay, okay. Okay, well, that's that. We're gonna have everyone go home. We got our cow plant berry, you guys. I'm very excited about that. That means we're gonna have some different options. We don't necessarily just have to starve them in the basement. I don't like that it takes so long to like let them starve. I would prefer to make them really uncomfortable, have them go eat the cake from the cow plant, go jump in the pond, just have like kind of like Hunger Games style, like some obstacle courses outside. Like, do you burn to death on the sun towel? What is it? What's your poison? How do you die? Um, and I think that's kind of where I'm at is I just wanna have some different like torture methods that seem a little like they're not exactly torture devices you know it's not like she has like a battery down in the basement and she's like doing like the the clamps on the I, you know I don't want to get too graphic here but um she's not like Liam no, ne, ne, Nielsen Liam Nelson Liam Nelson <laughs> it's just way too much um <laughs> somebody stop me uh, but yeah she's she's not um, the movie taken or um, John Wick over here she's just like 
you know, she's just too saucy. They just love the redhead and they're just about it and uh, they shouldn't be because she's got a shark pond and a cow plant berry and all these things that like you just you don't want it you want none of it i can promise you guys that but you know if there's some sort of confusion about the matter um, 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 um. okay i think actually i'm gonna bring it back a little bit maybe like oh no no i can't even really see it like why is that a thing okay well let's put it there and then <laughs> can we have her kind of plant it okay look i know that you're tired and then bess my darling let's go ahead and just assign this right side of the bed to her we want her to at least feel like you know she's kind of at home if you will can we have her stomp on this actually will you stomp on that please and then you can get some sleep I, uh, I'm not gonna be mean to you for now. You know, you're just, you're here. You're now our captive prisoner, whether you know it or not. <laughs> you will know it soon enough, my friend. Oh, what? I, I thought I told her to water that. Apparently she didn't water it. Okay, well, good thing we got some extra stuff planted because that just died. It, it was done dead. Um, okay, wait, I'm sorry. Um, hello? Hello? Um, yeah, I don't know if anyone has told you before, little Loma, but you're really cute! Look at the tiny little paws. Thank you, Sims team, for putting little paws on them, because the paws are the best part. Oh, look at her little mouth. Oh! Reel it in. It's okay. It's just a Sims pet. Johnny, no! Oh, we need to release his spirit. Or do we keep him around? He's gonna see us, like, living our best life. We've done moved best in. We have moved on so seriously, Johnny. It's not even, like, it's kind of shameful. I'm just sleeping good up here with my girlfriend. And uh, you don't deserve this, but it is the life that has been given to you, Johnny. Just, he's like just standing there looking at, at his tombstone like, how did this happen? How did this happen? Love, man. That's, that's what does the whole thing, right? Just love. Okay, well, um, let's have her come in, I guess, harvest some of these. And then we'll have to sell some of, oh, look at our little guy. Hi, little buddy. Um, I've had cow plants before and I've never really liked them that much because I don't want my Sims to die, typically. Um, but you, you are so welcome. You're gonna do your job so well and I'm, I'm just so happy for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's feeling very uninspired by the decor because she is a snoot. She is a snooty thing. Okay, well, you know what? You can just be like that then, Stevie. I don't know what to tell you. Um, sorry, I guess. I'm so sorry that you don't like the decor. I just literally just decorated her house for her. Like, it was better than the trailer, is it not? I mean, is it not, you know? <laughs> okay, well, we've got the plants coming along. Everything's looking pretty good. You know, I can't complain, can't complain. I kind of want to sell that. Don't really want to have it. Um, can you... Oh, wait, she cooked... Crap, they're probably spoiled. They've been in her inventory for a while. Yeah. Spoiled. And... Okay, we'll just use this trash can. And spoiled. Okay, and we don't really need that tablet for her. Um, but I, I think what we can probably do is have her... Ooh, actually, 
Why don't we have her cook up some, some uh, veggie burgers here? That honestly like sounded like a good option. We don't really grill burgers very often, specifically, but there we go. Okay. That is a lot. I think that it might be a good time to go ahead and kind of wrap it up. I mean, we could probably move forward with getting married like gunshot style in this part, but I think that like just kind of taking our time, um, just waiting till the next part to get married and throwing the little party, um, I think that'll probably work out pretty well because I mean, everyone's happy, everyone's feeling good. Jules, I heard that you got engaged. I wonder, I can probably see what their relationship is now that I have her in my household. I'm kind of curious, oh. They're just lovers. They're not technically in a relationship. They were not exclusive. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, um, <laughs> there's that. That happened. That's done. And uh, it is what it is, I guess. Can we maybe actually take oh okay kissing can we actually ask to go potty because we haven't really done a whole lot to care for the dog i guess she's going to work i thought i told her to work from home but okay well that's fine that means uh we're gonna make a little money from her job we've got a little bit of potty training going on over here and i think that that's pretty much it we're gonna go ahead and kind of cut this part here call it a wrap I think in the next part, we're just going to prioritize, kind of like I was saying, we're going to get married and uh, have our little get together at the house to celebrate marriage and show that we are the perfect spouse again. And then um, probably the next part after that, we'll work on starting to get rid of her, getting caught cheating, all those things. Um, definitely let me know if you guys have any thoughts about bringing Jules into this. Do we make him the baby daddy i kind of like the idea that jeb is like her one true love because they were kind of romantic whenever she was younger and she's really kind of detached from him since moving out of her parents house because obviously she doesn't want to bring him into this lifestyle of like stuff is just going on it's crazy um i do see that she's grilling again which obviously does not need to happen please actually eat the food like grab a serving <laughs> what did she cook Baked potatoes, those look yummy. I love baked potatoes. Okay, but I really am going to cut this part here. Um, like I was saying though, definitely let me know. Let me know if y'all got any thoughts about Jules. Um, do we leave him out of it? Do we bring him in as target number three? What do we do? I think it would be almost kind of funny, maybe a little too cliche, but funny to have Bess catch us cheating with Jules. I don't know, might be a little too cringe, but might still be what happens because the Black Widow challenge is pretty cringe. Um, but hey, I'm having so much fun with this one. It has been uh, everything that I hoped for and more. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.